Dave was talking about uh, just the role changes towards the end of the season um, and how when every, it kind of got harder when everybody came back. You were one of those guys that when Wiggs was, was out, you got a lot of minutes. Um, what was that like for you to when you know players come back and you guys are going into a postseason stretch to have those minutes, uh, your minutes change? And what did you learn from that experience? Uh, I mean, I had to get adapted to it. No, it's it was just my second year in the league, and I feel like the people that came back have established more, especially here. And it's nothing that I really could do to to change that. So I just got to get used to it, and that's it. Do you feel that you got <clears throat> enough kind of runtime to to grow your game? More this season, oh, and d definitely. Yeah. definitely. How, how, how did you grow? I mean, just a lot of people being out, uh, game, uh, chances to go out there and play a lot of minutes and kind of learn the game and being around uh, the team more and just playing more. I feel like that really helped me and knowing what I really need to work on coming back next season. Just where's your head at heading into this off season? Um, and is, I guess this is a double barrel question, but is it is it hard to practice patience when you you want to have a bigger role and you're playing behind some guys? It's not hard to practice patience. Uh, it's not. It just depends on people. Uh, you just gotta you gotta be patient. Uh, I don't know how else I could say, it, but. You gotta know where you are at some point, and you gotta know what the other people have established that's ahead of you. And as much as you're patient, um, a lot of things could change. A lot of things could come your way. So I feel like throughout the in the middle of the season, I was kind of patient, and things changing, things happening, and I felt that helped me to go out there and perform because I was patient and my patience helped me to grind every day to get better every day I know you're somebody that wants to be able to do everything on the court but do you have a top priority for one part of your game that you're trying to really grow this offseason uh, basically everything but and focusing more on the rebounding. I think that's the biggest thing that I gotta go back and watch all the clips and learn how to rebound more. Hopefully, I could come back and start rebounding like Loon. Uh, <laughs> hopefully one day, but I feel like just getting better at everything. Uh, just being a complete player. Everyone needs a, a rest or reset, but when does your off season work start for you? Hmm. I don't have no idea. Uh, Jonathan, what's it like, uh, just on a personal level, to have somebody like IG here with you? Um, I see he, he, you know, you, you guys are always chomping it up. You, I think you guys live together, right? Like, how much has he helped you transition just as a pro, uh, having somebody like that in your corner? It's not just about as a pro. I feel like just having him around just helps uh, mental-wise. There's days that we human at the end of the day. There's days that your day don't go your, don't go the way you want it, and you got people like him around you. That it don't matter how mad or how frustrated, how whatever you move you in, he's always gonna stand up to himself and speak. It don't matter if you like or not. So that's the type of person that I G is, and I love having him around because because of that. It's like he stand up and push me through anything. Are you guys going to go to Africa? He said that you guys might go back to Africa this summer. Is that something you're planning on doing? Like, I mean, we both coming from we both we both came from Africa, so it would be cool if we both go back out there. And I think that's the plan. We're working on it, but the schedule haven't came out because we didn't know we was going to lose yesterday. So, but you want to go to Goma? Is that is that the plan? You want to go back home? Yeah, that's definitely where I came from. So I haven't been out there in years. 
I would love to go out there and just see how everything changed and hopefully get to help a lot of people. Jonathan Alex Simon from Bay Area News Group right here. I don't know if you've had, have you had your exit interview meeting with the organization at this point? I literally or? just had a couple minutes ago. What, what message did I guess the organization have for you in that meeting? Uh, they're just happy with the way I have grew. Uh, and pretty much just they want me to keep adding on what I did this year keep learning the game and just growing more, figuring it out how I can impact even way more on winning. And I think that's what's been my goal to just figure it out how I could impact and on winning. You guys won a championship last year, obviously, but you've done this year. Um, to you, what was the biggest difference in this team last year versus this year? Uh, I would say the difference was just having those many injuries that we had in the middle of the season. Uh, yeah, this year, people come in, people living in and out. Uh, and I feel like the chemistry did not really click till the end of the season. And that's how we really even got better uh, when we got to the playoffs. Uh, but I feel like last year we all was there most of the time. Like there wasn't not too many injuries and everybody was here, so. And Jonathan, I think uh, this is probably the end of Andre Guadal's career. Um, how, how much has he helped you just, you know, these first couple of years and, you know, you know, just being a mentor, someone you can go to for advice? Uh, I will say Andre is, is even more than a mentor. He's like a big brother to me. Uh, I've learned so much from him. Uh, same way he learned so much from me, and hopefully he could get to come back next year. But it don't matter whatever he decides to do. I feel like our relation won't stop because of basketball. It's gonna always gonna be there, no matter what.